the way your machine comes to you without the motor on it. The headstock and tailstock will be assembled like this so that we've got it all dialed in. So when you pull it out of the box, this is how it is. Now we're just going to show you how to assemble the stepper motors to your machine and you'll have to assemble the speed control and motor to your headstock. Okay, so let's put the stepper motors on this. On our ball screw lathe, uh, you have a choice of standard stepper motors or, our, or the high torque stepper motors. We uh, highly promote the high torque stepper motor. Uh, it gives your machine a lot more, uh, lot more power for not much, much more investment. So what we have today, these are our high torque stepper motors. So we've got one for the X and one for the Z. We'll put the Z axis on first. And what I do is, on your stepper motor, if you find the set screw that's holding your adjustable hand wheel on, the flat on either end is the same. So you can just see where your set screw is in the hand wheel and adjust the flat on the inside to match. So first we're gonna turn the ball screw until we have the set screw inside aligned with the access hole. That's aligned right there. I'm going to turn my hand wheel so that the flat is facing the set screw. Make sure there's nothing on the mating surfaces here. It's all nice and clean. And the other one is I also mount this with the cord coming out of the side, not out of the bottom. Okay, we put our stepper motor in. We have four 832 screws. And we'll just Get all four of these started first. Don't lock them all down one at a time. Just get them started so all of them get in there and thread in nice. No cross threading. Once you have all four of them started, then what we want to do is tighten all four of them down. And I want to tighten these down before I tighten the set screw coming into the side so that there's no lateral uh, load onto the stepper motor shaft. So we'll sock these guys down. First, get them snug by hand, finger tight by hand, and then we'll snug them all down. Okay, those are all finger tight, and now we'll torque them down a little bit. Now, all four of those are tight. Now, what I'm going to do is start tightening my set screw. Oh, hold on. Wiggle it until you find the flat. If it once it's on the flat, you should have a little bit of slop back and forth. You can feel it touch the top and bottom of the flat. If you start to tighten it in, like right here, I'm not on the flat, and I start wiggling it, there won't be, it's touching, it's touching the round surface. Okay, so you want to go until it gets loose and bring it into the flat. And again, as you're tightening the set screw here, you want to be wiggling your shaft back and forth so you get this perpendicular. Once it's in there, I use a wrench as a little bit of a cheater. And that guy's locked in place. So that's my Z-axis stepper motor. That all feels nice and smooth. So that one's good. Next is going to be the x-axis stepper motor, and we do the same thing. You can turn the ball screw with your fingers to get the set screw to line up with the access hole. Right there. Almost. There we go. For the x-axis, I want to have my uh, power cord coming out the back side. The x-axis is going to be moving back and forth and it just drags it nicely here. I don't want it on the bottom or the top. And again, turn it so that your flat is facing the, the set screw. Right, pull this guy out a little bit. There we go. And we have our four 832 screws. 
for these started and take care of this one. On, the, on this stepper motor, on the z-axis, this guy's not moving anywhere. On the x-axis, the stepper motor is moving. This is a really nice mount that we have on the high torque stepper motor. However, if you tug on this a lot, it, it, it may pull out of here. So what we recommend is if this is a problem, is on the last one right here, you just put it down and you just zip tie through the hole. You have three 832s holding the motor on and the last hole is used for a zip tie and your cable still drags behind but all the tension on the cable is going to the zip tie and not to the side of the motor. Uh, I haven't had a problem with this so I'm using 832 in that fourth hole. Again we want to just snug them all down first once we get all four of them in. Okay, and then we start turning our set screw in. Let's tighten these guys all the way down and then we'll tighten that the rest of the way. That's nice and tight. Nice and tight. This guy. Cheater wrench. All right, nice and smooth. So we're set here. So that's your lathe that's up and ready to fly. Uh, throw a chuck on, get some tooling on there, and make some chips. Mm -hmm.